Hey guys, this is Julie again with Fresh RX Oklahoma. We are today at Natural Grocery Store and we're gonna walk through the store trying to teach you some of the tips and tricks that we have for choosing different kinds of food. Um, so you, we, can, we can help you making healthier choices that are also budget friendly. Okay guys, we're gonna start with the dressing section because it's something that all of us find it convenient at home, especially when we are rushing through meals. So the twins have chosen two different ranch dressings. And the first thing I'm gonna look is for the calories. So I go to my, to my nutrition label and I find calories. This one is 128 for two tablespoons. And this one is 90 for two tablespoons. So that is a really good starting point. If we look at that part, this one probably is a little more healthier. Now, second thing I like to look is for the carbohydrates. This one has two grams of carbohydrates, and this one has one carbohydrate. Another thing we got, we're gonna look at is total sugars. This one has less than 1% of sugars added, and this one has one gram of sugars added. So from those two carbohydrates, one is pure sugars, which is going to raise your sugars more than this one right here. Another thing you want to look at is the ingredients and a really good rule of the thumb is if you don't know what it is probably you shouldn't be eating. If you understand and know what the ingredients say in there probably that is a healthier option for you. An exception that you see the first ingredient being sugar then you should stay away from that one. In this case I think this guy wins. So another section that we have in here is oils. And this is a very common question that I receive. It's how to choose the best oil. One of the things that I always like to look for is the heat. If it is a medium heat or a high heat. Why the heat? It means that the medium heat is gonna break down and increasing the chances of you consuming more cholesterol at a lower temperatures. While if you use a high heat oil, that means it's going to take longer to break down and less chances of adding extra cholesterol to your meals. Of course, it always goes hand in hand on how much oil are you using. But if you're just using one tablespoon to do a small saute, you definitely want to go for a high heat oil. The girls have two different ones. Uh, everybody talks about the grapeseed oil and how healthy it is. If you read the label, actually it's a medium heat oil. So this kind of oil, probably you do not want to use it for cooking, but you might prefer to use it for a vinaigrette or any kind of dressing. While we have the canola oil that everybody finds easily available in any store, it is a high heat oil. That one might work better for you to cook. Now we're going to talk about all the different condiments. When you look for what it's, um, the mustards, most mustards uh, do not have any added sugars. They don't even have carbohydrates unless it is like honey mustard. But the original yellow one, it's a good way to go with your condiments. And now I want to talk a little bit more about the ketchup. I have three different types of ketchup right here. I want you to look at these labels. They say organic. But if you go to the nutritional fact, you actually find that these two are less healthy for you than this one right here. And the difference is, if when you look at the labels, I find that even this says organic, the carbohydrates are four grams with four grams of added sugars. And this is per tablespoon. If I look at this one that says sweetened with honey, this one shows that it has two, carbo two carbohydrates and it's one gram of added sugars. But if I read at this one right here, which only says unsweetened, it will show that it has two carbohydrates and it does not have any added sugars. So the highest probability that these carbohydrates are coming from the tomato that you are consuming are higher compared to these other two options. Now we are in the section of the tuna. You all know that I love tuna. It's one of the most inexpensive proteins that you can have and it's totally healthy. Tuna by itself or the canned tuna is not going to have carbohydrates. In this area, we care more about what are they using to add it. So like she, Miranda has one that it's in water. And when I read at the part of carbohydrates, it will say 0% carbohydrates. And it will say that it has 26 grams of protein. 
So it's quite high. The important part in here that I looked at the most is the cholesterol part, which is 10 grams of cholesterol. Now, Catalina does have the tuna that it's in olive oil. And this is another thing, just because it's olive oil doesn't mean that it's not gonna affect the nutrition, it does. In this case, it's 190 cal uh, calories per pack, which is more than the previous one. We got 20 grams of protein, which is less than the one in water. But most important, when you look at the cholesterol, is 25 milligrams of cholesterol is more than twice the cholesterol that you can find in one that it's in water. We are now in the cereal section of the supermarket. And you can see at this area where we have all the granolas and all the different kinds of cereals. I highly recommend stay away from here. And always go for your best friend oats. You want to look for the ones that are not instant. These are quick oats, not instant. They haven't been processed to be cooked faster with hot water. They're just being smashed a little bit to make it faster cooking, making it quick, not instant. The other thing that you want to look is at the price. With this guy, you can make not only oatmeal, you can make your own granola and add all the ingredients that you want. Now, this pack is for 20 portions. But if you go and buy one of these instant packs, the maximum that you can find in here is about less than 20 for way more price than what you're paying for this one. This is another section that I love. It's the spice rack section. And in this area, we just want to look for the most natural ones. We want to stay away from all the different seasonings, Italian seasoning, uh, poultry seasoning, onion salt, garlic onion salt, because they are combined and they add extra things that are not the natural herb that it's used to create things like red chili pepper. If you really enjoy red chili flakes, another way that you can help with it is just bind the dry chilies and blend them or just smash them a little bit. You can even, if you constitute them back in water, hot water normally, and then you let them soak for a little bit, you can also blend them, make it easier for you, and that's a really good base to make a chili at home. Another thing that I always like on this section is talking about the different extracts because they add a lot of flavor, especially when we have those cravings that we want to eat something sweet. You can use this on your oatmeal, like the vanilla extract, it can be in the bean paste, or it can be also just the liquid form. Um, if you're a person that is avoiding alcohol, I highly recommend to move with the paste instead of the bottles because the bottles tend to have alcohol. Or you can use your almond extract, that they have it right here, or the orange flavor. And they can help you a lot with all those sweet cravings that sometimes we get to have. Now let's look at the salts. All you want in the salt is to make sure that they have ionized salt. The reason is because ionized salt has one of the elements that sometimes we lack in our diet, if, especially if we don't eat enough seafood, and it's very important for the thyroid health. We are in the sweeteners section. Things that I always hear and people is curious about is about which one is better, agave, honey, the date syrup, the pomegranate syrup, or just plain sugar, or all the different sections that we have. So let me start first with the honey and the agave. This one has 60 calories, both of them have 60 calories. If we look at the uh, carbohydrates, this, this one has 16 and this one has 17. The other important part is that when we look at the glycemic index, this one is twice, which it means it's going to raise your sugars two times more compared to this one. Now let's talk a little bit more about the different sweeteners. This is a section where you really have to try the different kinds and see which one tastes better for you. Not everybody likes the xylitol, not everybody likes the beet sugar or the erythritol. I highly recommend trying to get the small packs Try them one by one and see which one you like the most. My favorite from this section, it will always be stevia. Tends to be the most natural of all of them. And if we look at the stevia compared to the xylitol, we can notice stevia has zero carbohydrates. It's also going to have zero calories, 
but silitol is going to have 20 calories, and the carbohydrates is 8 grams of silitol, because silitol is the kind of sugar that has a glycemic index way lower than regular sugar. So it's always important to look at them. I also love the fact that now they have stevia with different flavorings. So if you miss that coffee that tastes like caramel or that it tastes like mint or a lemon twist, you can always come to this section and try all the different flavors that we can have. Let's talk also about the different kinds of flour and especially the ones that are gluten-free. And what I want to say about this is just because it's gluten-free, it does not mean that it does not have carbohydrates. It's just a different kind of carbohydrates. Instead of being wheat, it's going to be cassava, it's going to be potato, it's going to be another kind of carbohydrate. But I, what I want you to look for is always look for words like whole wheat flour instead of refined. You can always go for your natural almond flour. And if you compare this guy with the most common one, we're normally going to find that these guys, even though the, the carbohydrates might be a little more, it has more protein and it has more fiber. Remember that fiber is one of the, your best friends. When you eat fiber, they keep your sugars. They prevent the sugars from going too high in the system. It's going to keep them elevated at a constant level instead of spiking it but it's also good for your colon health so seaweed is a really good snack idea it's because they're tasty you can crumble them up and put it in your salad so that's a really good choice and they have more fiber and less carbohydrates i like dark chocolate better because it has more antioxidants it's less sweet and it keeps you full for a longer time we are in the meat section, and my rule of the thumb, always remember the hand. We're going to go for seafood, fish, turkey, chicken, pork, and beef. These two are going to make you chubby, these three are going to make you lean. Remember these three. However, we don't have that much variety in here. We do have some chicken. I love and highly recommend always get the full chicken because you can make at least six meals, six portions from it. You can get your tights, you can get the breast, you can get all these different parts, but also you can get the bones to make your own stock at home. It's quite easy. You just take your bones, throw them in a pot with water. You can even throw the skin in there to give more flavor. Throw some onion, throw some herbs, your pepper, and let it boil until you notice that it changes to a darker color and it has a flavoring that you expect to. It's one of the best purchases that you can do at the store. Now let's talk about meat. And when I tell you about the red meats, the pork and the beef, the cheaper the cut, it's better. So for example, one of the most expensive cuts is the ribeye. And we also have the, this is the beef for stew. The first thing that I look between them is this one has a lot more fat compared to this one. So this means when you eat this one, your chances of increasing your cholesterol consumption are higher than this one that it's more protein itself. So yes, this is, even if you are having some fatties in here, which are better compared to the oil fats that you might have, you do not want to eat this much fat on it. You will have to trim most of the fat before you prepare it which is a waste of money. So this is a better option, healthier. You have to cook it for a longer time. It's perfect for more than one meal. You can make your pot, your pot. you can freeze it even if, if that's what you prefer, but it's a better um, purchase for your money. Cheese is always a really good snack idea, but also please look at the labels. We have the string cheese, the string cheese, one stick is 80 calories no carbohydrates perfect for those late night snacks now if we compare this to the one that comes already shredded for you when a cheese is shredded to keep them separated the small different pieces to keep them separated they have to add something normally that is a starch and we can read on the label back here that in this case they added cellulose and that increased the total carbohydrates to one gram 
per portion, which is 110 calories per portion, way more than your normal cheese stick. Another alternative, instead of getting it uh, already shredded for you, you can always go and buy the blocks and shred it at home. You can shred it beforehand, keep it on the fridge on different packs, or just freeze it, whichever is more convenient for you. Okay, now we are in the snack section, and all of us love about it. I love showing you these two snacks. If I want to show you the labels on this. If I go with this first snack, it will tell me that it has 20 carbohydrates. Three of them are dietary fiber, which gives us a total of 17 carbohydrates per portion or per serving. This guy right here has eight carbohydrates, but out of those eight is two grams of dietary fiber, which is a total of only six carbohydrates per portion. However, let's look at the other parts of the table. It tells me that this guy right here has 10 grams of fat, which is one gram of saturated fat. This guy right here has less fat, is seven grams of fat per portion. This guy right here has 25 milligrams of cholesterol, and this one right here does not have cholesterol. This one right here has 260 grams of sodium. This one has 150 milligrams of sodium, so it is less than half the amount of sodium compared to this one. And in protein, this one might have a lot more protein, but because of all the other things that already has added, makes it a less um, nutritional decision compared to this guy right here. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Stay tuned and comment where you'd like us to go next.